time for some hard and fast rules. Art hanging rules. Some might say there are no rules when it comes to interior design. Well, those people are wrong because there are rules. Of course there are rules, lots of them, and that's why you're here. Today, we're going to review the key rules for hanging artwork in your home. And I've grouped them into four easy categories. Size, height, spacing, and color. There's a bit of a twist with the color one, so stay tuned. Every designer that's ever walked into a room devoid of artwork is asked the same question. What size of art should I hang? Over my sofa, over my hallway console. Artwork above furniture seems to be a major question mark. The main thing to remember is to make sure the artwork and the furniture below it are balanced with one another. How do you create balance? The rule, artwork should be about two thirds the total width of the furniture. That way the visual weight of the art is balanced by the furniture below. Think of the furniture as a platform for the art. It could be one large piece of artwork like this over a console, or even a large mirror. Or it could be multiple pieces. Here are some examples of other artwork above furniture. Look for that balance. If you have artwork that goes beyond the ends of the furniture, the whole thing looks top heavy and out of balance. So it's really up to you what you hang above the furniture. It could be one single piece or multiple pieces, but the size is really determined by the length of the furniture. Fill two thirds of the wall space lengthwise and you'll create a sense of balance. Now on to the next rule. The next important rule is all about height. Most of the time I find art has been hung too high. So here are the rules. Going back to the artwork above furniture, not only do we want a visual balance between the artwork and the furniture below, but we need a visual connection between them as well. They need to feel like they are part of the same group, a part of each other. Spacing between the art and the furniture should be somewhere between six and eight inches. That keeps the artwork close enough to the furniture and gives you that visual connection between the two. Here are some great examples. Hanging artwork too far above furniture makes the two objects disconnected, like they're living in their own individual worlds. Remember, you've chosen these pieces to live together, so keep them closer to each other. And what if you want to hang art on a wall that doesn't have furniture below it? The second rule for height is the center of the artwork should be hung at 60 inches from the floor for standalone art pieces. Here are some great examples. You'll be amazed at how interesting your artwork becomes when you can see it right in front of you at eye level. Spacing is the next big question when it comes to hanging art, especially when it comes to hanging multiple pieces together. The first rule for spacing artwork, keep in mind that grouped artwork needs to look like they're grouped together. Just like that visual connection between the furniture and the artwork, if you're hanging multiple pieces together in one group, then keep the spacing between each piece approximately two to four inches apart. If you place them too far apart, then you lose that connection between the art pieces. They become disconnected. And the second rule for spacing, anytime you're hanging more than one piece together, think of them as one whole unit. Treat them as one large piece. Find the center of the whole and go back through all these rules. When you place your group together with just a few inches between each piece, does it cover two thirds of the width above your sofa? Maybe you need to remove some pieces or buy a bigger sofa. 
So spacing your artwork is really all about keeping items together so each piece has a connection to the other and in turn to the group. The next category of rules is all about color. I get many questions from clients sending me images of artwork asking if it would work in their living room or their bedroom. They're asking about colors and color scheme and making it blend into the space. Here's the rule. There is no rule. There are no rules when it comes to the color of artwork in your home. And no, it doesn't have to match the interior color palette. Unless you want that, of course. If you love a piece of artwork, buy it, take it home, apply all the rules for size, height, and spacing to find the right spot, and then hang it. I mean, I might have a strong opinion about the art piece that you're asking me about, but it's your home. You should have the art that you love. By the way, are you a cheater? You can break or cheat the rules, but only once you know what the rules are. Well, I have my own tips for hanging great artwork that are a little more involved. Things like mat, no mat, is asymmetry allowed? If you'd like a video about my own personal tips, just leave a great big fat yes in the comments below. I'll know what you're talking about. So here's your takeaway. Finding the right piece of art can be a challenge, but hanging it correctly is pretty clear when you know what the rules are. Select or group artwork that sits balanced over top of furniture or that hangs at eye level when they are standalone pieces. Spacing between art pieces and furniture is also key. A grouping works best when you treat it as one large piece. Keep in mind their visual connection to one another and that will make your grouping of furniture and art live comfortably together as well. And the biggest rule of all, hang artwork that you love, no matter the color. Thanks for watching this interior design tip. I'll have lots more design tips coming soon, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification button so you don't miss the next video. If you have any other questions about artwork in your home, leave them in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Hey everyone, I've started a Patreon account. If you'd like to follow me there or become a patron, I would appreciate that very, very much. You can find the link in the description below or you can just head over to patreon.com slash Thanks for watching and supporting my channel.